This week, as we prepare to celebrate the resurrection of Jesus, I'd like us to consider what happened on that first Easter after the women came and discovered an empty tomb. That morning, 2,000 years ago, when the women went to the tomb and found it empty was the day history changed. The sacrifice Jesus made on the cross had been accepted, and God's plan to restore his relationship with mankind was in place. Even on that day, though, it was difficult for everyone to believe that Jesus had been raised from the dead. The women hurried to tell the disciples, but Luke's gospel tells us that they were not believed because their words sounded like nonsense. Peter though had to see for himself and raced with John to the tomb. They were amazed at what they found. Two other followers set off on the road to Emmaus, where they were joined by one whom they didn't recognize until they sat to eat, and he blessed and broke the bread with them. On the very evening of the resurrection, Jesus came to his disciples, assembled in fear, and greeted them with one word, peace. He comes to us today, to those who disbelieve or like Peter are curious or who are afraid and alone, and even to those who may think the empty tomb is nonsense. He comes to bring peace to all. Remember this and take comfort as you pray for your loved ones who don't yet understand the tomb is empty because he is risen. He is risen indeed. With new life this week, I'm Ron Brown.